think we're okay. Boom, wom, 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 wom. All right, it looks like, as you can see, the time zone is wrong, but everything else about it looks right. Uh, I want to talk on Discord, but I'm too nervous due to my shyness, and I want to embarrass myself. I understand. You may text, and if you ever feel comfortable, you can join us. Like right now, I have Jimmy with us. Jimmy, are you there? Nope. All right, so if, if you hear Jimmy, just know that wasn't him. <laughs> Set a world record for embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Come talk to oh. Paz. <laughs> Set a world record. I don't know. There's some pretty big asses out there. I don't know. That's a really <laughs> tall order. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, I mean, like, don't don't run over like a family of four on your way. Well, that's not embarrassing. That's a crime. I mean, I immediately thought of Donald Trump. I think he would he counts as a pretty embarrassing character, but. Having known that he's a political figure and people adore him, uh, I don't think I can list those. But I, so I'll think of the unfair one, which is uh, Harvey um, uh, uh, doing the uh, the pageant where he called the wrong winner. Oh, Steve Harvey. Oh no, yeah. And and you know that poor guy, he'll swear up and down that wasn't his fault. They gave him the thing and he read the thing and. I was like, that's not my bad, so. <laughs> I don't think you can do anything of that level. There's nothing at stake here. Alright. Do we sea hear the game thieves. now? Yeah, it's time for some Sea of Thieves. Do you think I can play as um, Jack Sparrow in this? Maybe if you imagine hard enough. <laughs> when I think of Jack Sparrow, I think of Sly Cooper. All right. Hey, there's sound. Yay! I think I think you can find him on one of the boats, but he's, I, I think he's called Jack Terrier. <laughs> Is that true? That's funny. <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh, there's the little boat thing. I mean, you know, I really um, this playthrough has made me really appreciate the complexity of this game. Uh, you know, when I, when I played it the first few times, it's like, yeah, there's a bunch of mini games and that's cool versatility. But like, this is a whole game within a game. It's all all this piratey stuff and it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And like, that just, to me, that screams artists that don't want to be bored. They're like, no, we're going to do something different. <laughs> we're not, we could just keep doing the same stuff, but, uh, we have these tools. How about we make him a pirate? Okay, sure, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Woozia. So I understand this is the way to earn gold, right? To get our platinum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Do I need do I need to go to battle or uh, just like sail around, go to islands? What's the deal? Battle. They, uh, you get a lot of gold from killing ships and okay. picking up the treasure chests in the water as well. And the and the chest got it. Hey, nanotech noob! Thank you for the sub. Welcome to Gamerland. Oh, what you gonna do with a nanotech noob? You are now a subber. I hope you're here. We've missed you for almost all the summer, but now you're a sub and it makes me happy. Everybody here is gonna clap, clap, clap. Yay, nanotech noob! My wife's in the room. Did you approve of that song? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That was the coolest lyric, limerick. You, you hear me singing in this room sometimes, right? When I people, do. Yeah. I can always tell when someone subs because you go off on another song. <laughs> and you love it. I love it. It's like music to our house. <laughs> ah, and forewarned, they got a sub for five months. All right, man. Thank you for the, uh, the additional love. See. Oh, I sunk your ship. And, oh, 279, 78 gold. That's pretty good. You're welcome, nanotech noob. Forewarn. I warned you. I warned you. Uh oh, is this South the Bear? Subscribe with Pum. Ah, uh, how do you? What? What is that word? This South. This. The South Bear. 
Wait, I get a song if I sub? You do get a song if you sub. Uh, as soon as I can do a few less things. Uh, my wife is uh, in the room still hand signaling to me. <laughs> my wife is entering laundry and she wants a song. <laughs> oh, I don't want to beware, but it is Z South Bear offering me a lovely sub. It is so thoughtful as we sail around this pirate simping town. I have to hit all of these wells with my magical cane. Hiya! There you go. Thanks for the sub and welcome to Gamerland. If I die, I don't lose any uh, gold, right? It's just... I just die and start over, right? I don't have to worry about it. There's a gap in the hole. My strong arm will nail it close. Jimmy, what are you doing this evening? So, I... So I'm busy. Sitting around. Dreaming of donuts. <laughs> that, that's like okay. saying Jimmy is breathing air. <laughs> you know, I, I feel bad uh, because those two songs weren't the greatest, especially Z South. I could have done better. But there's something about this pirate shanty level that I can't, like, generate an, a different tune. I need to create a bot that I can just drop a beat for me and I can sing to it. That would be good. Zane, can you make that bot? Thanks. Did he make it yet? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Jimmy. <laughs> Alabama, the band, nice. <laughs> yeah, I had to make sure that I wasn't like passively sliding my Take stage that. or something. something. Uh, I had to make sure everybody knew it was the band. <laughs> uh, what um, what is the song? Like, what's Alabama's most known song? What's their what's their jam? Oh, it's, uh, it, it's definitely, I was singing it, like, all freaking day, uh, like, a month ago. Is it, um, one night in Bangkok night. makes a hard man humble. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama's a country, too. A gun shade the first! Oh, don't be the worst to gun shapes the first here with the sub and it's gonna get first. Driving around in your black vehicle, making things cool when you are cool. See, I, that went backwards. That's not what I meant to do. That, for reals, the, the, this pirate song, it's like my kryptonite. <laughs> I can't do it. All I want to do is yo ho, yo ho, thanks for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not the uh, the musical experience that we come to expect here in Gamerland. Uh, so I had uh, I had uh, drinks at a fire pit with Sir Justin Warsham last night, and we were dreaming of of doing some podcasting again. And what he was like, what I'd like to do is just turn on the mics and talk. Uh, he's like, maybe about gaming, maybe not about gaming, just more like the second funniest podcast is. And I was like, I think we can do whatever we want. Jimmy, what do you think our, what do you think the Gamerland community would respond? Do they need us to give our takes on gaming, or can we just talk about rubber bands and I mean, honestly, traffic? <laughs> also giving them a lesson in history as to what made Gamerland. <laughs> It comes full circle, is what you're saying? Like, welcome back to our roots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because that, I mean, forewarned, you're back with dispensing the subs. Drama King 92, what you gonna do? Forewarned's got a sub for you. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just a rapping. So. Alabama's two most popular songs. Now that I get it, Dixie Land Delight. Uh -huh. and can you can you give me a little taste of one of those? But my home's in Alabama. Yes! Ooh, yeah. No matter where I am. Yeah, yeah, come on. My home's in Alabama. Southern born and southern bred. 
Oh, you're gonna make me cry. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a great song. I love that song. <laughs> well, well done, Jimmy. Everybody, Jimmy. Uh, Super Chai two thirty five. Yeah, I still keep in touch with uh, Matt and Chris. Um, we talked about. Oh no! Don't don't fall off the boat slide. Um, Matt was recently on a progressive commercial, uh, and uh, that that one had played. I guess around the start of this year, a bunch. Oh, Super Chai two thirty five with the sub from Four Ward. Oh, kill this guy! Kill this guy! Thanks so much. And welcome to Gamerland. You now have access to the coolest emotes ever. One by Swampy, one by me. I haven't seen Swampy in a little while. She's stuck in the Swamp of Sadness. <laughs> Which she already had some. That was kind of her thing, right? Bad, dark puns. <laughs> well, no, sorry. Her dark jokes are like a Pikachu. Yeah. And now she has to evolve it because Pikachu is already awesome. Yeah. Got to evolve it to the next level. Everybody loves Pikachu. Everybody always loves Pikachu. Always will love Pikachu. It's um, yeah, it's genetic, right? It's that. What's the word? Ue. We look at it and we're like, oh, I just want to hug that thing. <laughs> I just want to shock it and have it shock me. Got a question for you. How did you get into voice acting? I've always thought it would be something fun to do, but I'm fairly nervous when it comes to streaming and recording. Well, those are different things. Sonic Joe, you got, oh, there goes my boat. <laughs> uh, those are different things. Voiceover acting is a different skill set and a different uh, world than, uh, re than streaming and recording. Unless, of course, you mean recording for voice acting. I, I would tell, I, I, I get this question, um, on the regular, and I would say to you, as I would uh, counsel anyone, that uh, voiceover acting is fun, uh, and it has the allure of buckets and buckets of cash for you to take and do something fun, and that is not untrue, uh, but it is a tiny sliver of the, of the work that goes into being a voiceover actor. Um, it is a lot of work, and it's a lot of networking, and it's a lot of auditioning, uh, a lot of auditioning, Screaming alone into a microphone in your house, and most people will, well, most gigs you go out for, you won't get. And uh, so you have to really enjoy it and recognize that most of the things, most of the time, you're not going to to book it. So uh, if you like voice acting, if you like acting, then it's then it's a good pursuit. But if you're like, I just want to show up at a booth and get into a video game, it's just not how it works. Any more than if you watch TV and went, man, I really want to be on a TV show. It's just, it's just not how things are. It's a, it's a very highly competitive industry that now people from around the world can compete in because everybody can record at home. So you're, you're actually competing with people literally around the world when you go out to the world if they uh, do remote recordings. So. Thunder cannons! I hadn't heard that line before. That's great. Uh, who is my favorite villain? I'm partial to uh, Canadian guy A, um, Jean Besson. I always think he's pretty cool. I like his world. And I like the Contessa. I want to like Clockwork, but, you know, he killed Sly's dad, so it's kind of messed up. Uh, and who doesn't love Dimitri? Pretty much I like the villains from Sly, too. Those are just good villain, uh, Except for Clock. Clockwa. I love it. That sounds great. Oh, what kind of drink are you getting? You know what? Wait, don't tell me. When you come back, I want you to drink it, and I want to be able to guess. Yeah, what, what Girl Scout flavor is Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to do it. <laughs> All right, well, Jimmy does that. We're going to fight this. Chihuahua and his little brother. <laughs> well, look at him jump. I'll, I'll tell you what, this, this, these little mini fights are just a hair harder than I think they probably should be for... Uh, oh my gosh, that is a lot of gold. Jeez, a loot. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, ships captured. Oh, I gotta get that up. We gotta have more ships captured than uh, ships sunk. My rank is a picaroon. What? What's the? Can I be a sea admiral? Like, how can I get there? How many coins do I need? Uh, a lot, because uh, that to get the platinum you have to buy every ability on Thiefnet, and so we we got some spending to do. We got some buying today. Which Sly game is your favorite and least favorite? Chaos Scorpio! Finish him. Who did the voice of Clockwork? That would be Kevin Blackton. Um, I, uh, I don't know if I have a least favorite. And of course, they're all fun for their own reasons. But I'm very partial to Sly 2. That game is... Oh, no. The game is a... P I, you know, as they write video game history books, Sly 2 has an important place in it. It made some magic, yo. It made some magic, yo. Hello, 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 Zol Joan. Get it, Murray. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. Uh, just like, oh, I didn't get it. There, we go. there are two boats in this water. There we go. Come on, sink. Sink you, dumb boat. Oh, <laughs> how is this boat alive? I don't understand. All right, we're just stuck on each other here. And look at him turn. This is how. Oh, rude! No! Come on. Have you seen the new Spider-Man trailer? You know, I don't watch a lot. Oh, trailers for things that I'm going to see. So, and I heard that was more of a leak than an actual trailer, right? So, I'm gonna hold on in case there are like some major spoilers. But I guess at this point, everybody knows. So, I mean, if the villain the isn't uh, the Sinister Six, I don't know what we're doing. What What's the point of living? Actually, yeah, we gotta see some Doc Ock in, in the MCU. I'm not a, I've never been a huge Spider-Man fan, but what I've always appreciated about Spider-Man is uh, that he's got great villains, like Batman. Like, you know, the the charm of that guy is that he's got so many, so many people after him. He's got like the Sinister Six, and there's like 19 of them on that team, um, and then other guys. Whereas like. I feel like most of the MCU, you spend your time fighting other heroes because their villains are like, snooze, snooze, and then they always defeat them. Like, yay, the villain never gets to run off and start again. Even the, uh, the Avengers movies are like, Thanos is like, maybe I'll start doing things next movie. In PlayStation Move Heroes, is Lunk voice Richard Stephen Horvitz because Lunk sounds like Zim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's definitely Richard Horvitz in that game. For sure. Where's the map? What do I do to keep playing? Oh! That's okay. Lightning Days, thank you for the follow and welcome to Gamerland. We are playing some Sea of Thieves 1.0 tonight in an attempt to get a platinum for Sly 3. Kaboom! Nice, that was a one hit wonder right there. Uh, on the stream, we have already collected a platinum for Sly 2, so it seems fitting to get one for Sly 3 to have a matching set. And before you ask, no, I will not be getting a Platinum for Sly 1, because that game is hella tarred, yo. Kevin, this is important. You need to get Sucker Punch to make a Sly cartoon. Bro, I tried. They're not interested. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the thought I had 16 years ago. They are not into it. And I quote, we make video games, Kevin. Please enjoy some nachos. That might be a paraphrase. I don't remember if there are nachos involved. 
But I do know Sucker Punch is all about Sly. I love to see Sly live again! Forever and ever. Like how this guy isn't gonna live again forever and ever. What's up, pirate dog? Put your musket away! This is no time for battling. I dare you. Come on. I didn't come here to dance. I came here to, to hit you with my cane. Oh, he's like out. Oh no! I missed my opportunity. There you are. I got to wondering. A splinter? What kind of drink are you getting? <laughs> Oh, that's the name of the drink. Uh, my grandma had a splinter. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, my grandma. Don't tell me. Don't tell me the drink. Let's see. All right. So it's got the potential to give your grandma a splinter. So um, it's got to be like a wooden drink, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go with like woodpecker juice. <laughs> oh, it's in a uh, Coors Light. <laughs> Oh, what was it? Sprite. Uh, I really thought you were going for uh, something alcoholic there. I might later, but uh, I was feeling a Sprite. Oh, that's good. It's good and good for you. All that lemon and lime has all the vitamins in it. All right, who are you gonna who are you gonna roll in here? Alrighty, we've got Gold Kid and. Go get it. And gamer girl, fight! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Are you guys gonna fight? Uh, I, I, I can see. <laughs> I am not a fighter. What a gentleman! Well done. Oh, something happened. I just, I just fell off the map. I guess. How are you both this uh, Tuesday evening? I'm doing okay. I'm a. Uh... I'm uh, getting ready for an MRI next Tuesday. Just Ooh, for your stream, so that's something to look forward to. All right. Um, why? Why an MRI, my friend? Because uh, uh, I think I told you before I've got like nerve damage in my hips that I've been dealing with for over a year. Jesus. So finally. Yeah. I know. So I'm finally uh, I'm getting an MRI, uh, and then at the end of September I'm getting uh, a nerve reading, which means they're gonna stick my legs full of needles and zap me. <laughs> that sounds pleasant. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I've got a month to prepare. Oh man, I'm so sorry. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I'm pretty good. I mean, at this point, because it's been over a year, I'm just ready. I'm ready to do anything at this point, just to. You know, get it fixed. Sure. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I guess I haven't. It hasn't sunk in yet to what they're actually going to be doing. So right now I'm feeling good. That's good. Uh, yeah, and you got a week to get nice and anxious. It sounds like. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I can be praying for you. That sounds uh, brutal and unnerving. Uh, and, and on top of everything that we're dealing with in the pandemic, that's just so fun. Oh yes. But hey, you know what? It gives me plenty of time, and I'm able to enjoy these. Oh, you're well, you're too kind. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, C Justin Warsham can, uh, as you know, my co-host for the Game Land podcast, uh, can commiserate with you. He had surgery today. He is doing well, but uh, oh, that's good. He was he was anxious as well. So um, rough rough go all around. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope the end results for you are. That they get to the bottom of things. I know. I, at this point, I just want answers. Yeah, nobody, I imagine. No doctor has known what's going on. And I imagine. What kind of jobs are you qualified? No, go ahead. I was gonna say, what kind of jobs are you qualified for after you get an MRI? Oh, I don't know. I mean, hopefully, I get superpowers. Uh, <laughs> so maybe like saving the world. <laughs> You know, hey, no. the uh, Luke, the Velociraptor '93 with the sub. What rhymes with Velociraptor? Orange. Ah, okay. I'm gonna eat an orange. Thanks for the sub, Velociraptor. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that did. 
<laughs> that totally rhymed. <laughs> no matter what someone says, if they ask what rhymes with this, you say orange. Orange it up. Orange it up. But to really answer your question, Jimmy, I'm actually an audio engineer, and I want to get into reporting uh, actors with video games, but at this point, I'm just waiting for more information just in case I learn I need surgery or any kind of extended sure. recovery before I... What uh, state are you in, or city? I'm in California. Oh, what, in, in what city? Uh, uh, in the L.A. area, so I'm like I'm in the like Southern California. Oh well, then you're in the right spot for it. That's a completely legitimate goal. Not that I'm the judge of it, but it's not like you're in uh, I don't know uh, Spokane. They probably have voiceover studios in both Spokane. Tulsa. I have a feeling there aren't a lot in Tulsa, <laughs> unless you're at a church, like a mega church. They got that. Uh, I'm gunning for Burbank. That's my. And, and that's where they're at, so, yeah. Bang Zoom is there, and they're uh, good folks. That's where we recorded uh, Sly 4. Just down the street from my house, I could walk if I was athletic. <laughs> uh, yeah. good neighborhood, so. Well, and so are you going to St. Joe's then? Are you that, are you that local to me? No. Okay. Uh, I'm in. I'm a. Uh, I'm in the passage here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could. I could walk there too, but I'm not. <laughs> no one should walk from North Hollywood to uh, <laughs> to Pasadena in the year 2021, unless it's you know for a marathon or something. <laughs> Uh, hey Kevin, when you were doing voice acting, did you ever uh, have to do any improv? Not have to, get to, desperately would want to. I find that most people who write scripts uh, don't want you improvising. <laughs> very, very rarely have I ever uh, delivered an improvised line where they were like, Oh my gosh, that's so great, thank you! <laughs> and believe me, I've tried. <laughs> Uh, but improv and uh, voiceover acting, they don't tend to go well. Most scripted stuff generally doesn't because it's really hard to improvise a line that translates into scripted material because the joy of improv is the moment that you're in. And that's different than, uh, than like, writing a good joke. Take that boat. Oh, I just sunk that boat. Take that. Let's see, we also have uh, Gamer Girl 1990 in here, but uh, she's being very quiet. What did you do to her skull? I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> you said you conceded. <laughs> I did, I know. Phantom Reaper Roxas, thank you so much for the the tier one sub to the channel. Wow, this is like a sub of Palooza tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, what rhymes with Volt Premium? No, uh, rock, what's Volt Premium? I'm not familiar with that. Volt Imperium? Volt Imperium. Oh, Volt Imperium uh, is gifting a tier one sub. Two Roxas. Ah, well. Volt Imperium, thank you for the generosity -um. to your little friend, Phantom Rock Reaper Roxas. I'm stuck on rocks! Help me! Ah. Oh, did I break the game? Uh oh. Phantom Roxas. Phantom Roxas, help me! <laughs> Can I do this? Oh, there we go. Okay, the map. We're gonna get you. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks so kindly. Oh, gosh, why? Uh... The advanced pirating physics. <laughs> when I think of pirates, I think of Sly Cooper. Hey, this game was so ahead of its time. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you played um, Super Mario 3D World, where they would do the Toad mini worlds where you got to stand up with your Wii and walk around. Oh, is that the uh, the Captain Toad stuff? Yeah, and then okay? and then you're like, oh my gosh, this is so great! I wish it was a whole game. And they're like, you got it. And they made Toad Tracker, yeah. and it's like just endless levels of cool puzzles and, and great stuff. Um, 
And I wonder if that's what they did. They're like, hey, you know what's really fun? This game. And someone's like, let's steal it and put it on Microsoft. And that's how we got Sea of Thieves. So that's my working theory. Correct. They did it before they could make their uh, Henrietta one eye Cooper spin. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that would be very interesting if the future of Sly is, uh, is different installments of, of past uh, Thieves, of past Coopers. So it not, would become like Assassin's Creed, like cartoon Assassin's Creed. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like That'd open up this cool. chapter and, and that's it. And, um, yeah, I always and then, wanted to learn more about the Scottish ancestor. Are you, do you have Scottish descent? Is that why you're you're so inclined? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. But he just looked cool. You know what happens if you beat Henrietta one Eye Cooper's spinoff game? Um, you get a buccaneer. He changes her name to Henrietta I-1 Cooper. <laughs> yeah! All right, so we're going out into the deep sea here. There's a there's a treasure chest on the map. Is that an actual thing? Uh, on the on the actual map, like when you pull it up. Yeah, look in this top right hand corner. There's like a uh, little. I think that might just be decoration. What about the sea monster? Is that real? No, I think that's where you did the crusher mission. All right, we're gonna find out. And if you bump into those chests that are floating in the water, you get some bonus coins. Oh, there's coins. I thought it was just health. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, the health will have the little red plus on them. Oh, and then they don't have coins in them. Ah, I see. Yeah. How do I not know it's not a Spanish conquistador when it's a red X? <laughs> You'll, you will never see it coming. <laughs> oh, Jungle Cruise. Such a great movie. I love that movie. No one expects... No one expects the undead Spanish conquistadors. <laughs> Alright, we're on top of the Kraken. He ain't here. Kraken, Kraken, come home. What's up here? What if you actually discover a secret boss fight in this game that nobody knew about? Until right and now? no one thought, I'm gonna sail up to there. <laughs> Pretty sure people have spent hundreds of thousands of hours. What I do wish, and this is just being greedy, I wish I could just park it here and dig up treasure. How cool would that be? Using that map mechanic. Oh, yeah. Like to find maps and go around. Then it really would be Sea of Thieves. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's shoot these ships! Yeah! Did you ever play Assassin's Creed? Uh, I haven't uh, done much with the Assassin's Creed games. Um, but it is pretty much this, right? Like. Yeah, I mean, Black Flag is definitely... I would imagine it's inspired by this. I mean, I know the previous Assassin's Creed game used a little sailing game, but it feels at its core so similar to what was established here in Slide 3. Well, and the, but the Pirates of the Caribbean movies were also super popular at that time, too. Right? Oh, yeah. So they were like, That's very true. let's do that and make that a thing. So, um, because so much of this, of course, is inspired by stuff like Mission Impossible and whatever that was popular at the in oh, yeah. the, the end of the 90s. And it's all just a snake eating itself. So. It's Mission Impossible meets Star Fox. <laughs> that was the original pitch to Sony. That was the pitch. They're like, sold! Here's a million dollars! Do these ships fight each other? Because I noticed sometimes I it looks like they do. are, and they have different colored flags on them, so I wonder if they were yeah, in different Yeah, I think it's... I think the uh, sales mean, like, allegiances or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know you get I know you get more money depending on what sale you kill. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Black oh. sales are worth the most. Oh, wow. Uh, and are the are the captains on there different, too, or is that random? No, they're, the captains are usually the same. Usually the same like, two like, the, guys? The, yeah, same two guys, but... Ship. Yeah. White, uh, white flags are worth Good to know. Well, because they gave yes. up. That's what that's what the white flag, they're like, never mind. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I feel bad for seeing the white flag. They're like, we didn't want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I conceded. <laughs> uh, Chaos Scorpio in the chat is asking, what do you think about the infamous games? Oh, I love the infamous games. Who doesn't love the infamous games? They're so great. Um, I have never played them, but I always feel 
slightly bitter towards them just because it's what uh, oh like punch like the baby brother like, came into town and stopped loving you the parent mommy and daddy yeah. stopped caring about you do me a favor real quick just churn off the stream and go play those games and <laughs> you'll be very pleased at least the, at least uh the last infamous that was on the ps4 i mean that's a it's a solid title it's there are good. three games right yes and uh and some like little mini levels, some additional uh, stuff. But uh, for a long time, I, I my uh, manifesto on our Gamerland podcast was I thought that they had found the secret to the future of uh, of gaming by releasing like chapters in a superhero comic book and just download the next chapter and we all get to like move forward. Because that was like that was their little DLC, but they only did it once. So it was like. How great would it be if just every three to four months a new uh, infamous DLC level was dropped? Uh, you know what? Now that I say it out loud, I'm actually not wrong because that's called Destiny. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, We're in like Elder Scrolls Online as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, Sonic Joe! What is all that? I can't. That's Whoa. more words than I've ever read in my life. What is? <laughs> it's a wall of text. The invasion of the. Of the characters. Oh man. What's he saying? Something about demos? Is, is this your list of favorite games? I think it, it might be uh, um, uh, acknowledging the different anniversary celebrations for games. I see, I see. Hi, K6. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, guys, I'm not the best at, at holding a conversation, playing a game, and reading the chat at the same time. Do people do that? Am I just, like, a, a hack that I can't do all three of those things? Because I feel like I, need, I can either talk to you on Discord and play the game, or I can I read the chat and play the game, but I, it's hard to do three of those things at the same time. Well, I guess uh, Jimmy and I or any other guests are being nice to read chat. So yeah, you thanks. Know, you've been doing a great job. Oh, well, I wasn't looking for a compliment, but I'll take it. And store it up and print it on a pillow, so thank you. Yeah, whatever you need. I just take a nap on it and be like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a ton of games in the backlog that I've been trying to get back on. I, I started playing the original Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Why? Why did you start with a game that's going to take about 100 hours to play? <laughs> yeah, see, I, I realized that getting into it, but... I, I call it the Smash effect because I've been playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers, and that game is like a gateway drug to other video games. Mm, because that, yeah, Final yeah, Fantasy yeah. VII is a big part of it, so yeah. I kind of want to see what's all about. And I start playing it, and now I love it. Well, that's not bad. It, it, that was a free game on the PS uh, uh, Plus recently, right? Am I thinking of the right? Oh, yeah, the remake was. Yeah. yeah. Are you playing the remake, or are you playing the original? Original first, just so that I could have that experience and then go into the remake. Because I know the remake is most definitely going to be better, at least for me, because I'm not a huge fan of turn-based combat. Yeah, yeah. Then why didn't you do uh, that? Why, why play the original and then do the remake that. instead of just? I was going to give it a shot. My plan was I was going to try, the original, see what I felt about it, and then if it was really too much, then just jump to the remake. But luckily, the uh, like ports they've had for the Xbox One and PS4 of the original Final Fantasy VII, they give you cheats so that you can speed up the combat and even activate uh, God Mode. Well, there the you go. The combat is really boring because yeah. the story is great. Yeah, agreed. I, I I was way I really thought I was gonna get sucked in playing that game, and then did the first boss battle against that giant tank thing and I was like yeah. I hate this game and I hate everything and it, about it, it. and I, I combat really takes it out of it. I, I, I rage quit so hard that I turned it off and deleted the game from my PlayStation. I was like, nope, not gonna we're not coming back to get abused later. This thing is dead to me. So uh, I'm a little envious that you're able Final Fantasy VII remake. I'm I'm envious that you're able to get through it because I, I I recognize that it was a quality game with a great story and a cool world and a piece of gaming history. Like that's an important title. Yeah. But I, I just kind of like no no not for me. It's just not. Yeah. I'm, I'm go back to playing Skylanders. Yeah, that's all right. If it wasn't for that God mode cheat, I would have rage quit as well. All right. Well, that's what I needed. It's just yeah. I just need more God mode in my life. All right, Sonic Joe. 
Thanks for stopping by. Have a lovely night. Sleep it up, sleepy. Bye, Sonic Joe. Sonic Joe! Sonic Joe! Are these white? Is this considered a white uh, ship, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a white one? Okay. Have you guys played through all the Pirates of the Caribbean? I have not. Uh, I logged in and bought the dog and then logged out. <laughs> so I definitely need to play it. <laughs> I know, me too. I'm waiting to play it with my brother. But... That guy. Uh, what about you, Jimmy? How much Sea of Thieving have you done? I have not opened Sea of Thieves in about one and a half. Why do you hate yourself? And what are you doing right now? What I'm doing right now is <laughs> Jimmy, are you high? What's happening right now? <laughs> Sir, this is a sprite. <laughs> not a light. <laughs> Go on. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Crystal Star Pearl asks, are you guys familiar with the Rocket Robot on Wheels? Dude, of course. The, the Proto Sly Cooper game. That's right, that's what it was. Wasn't that Sucker Punch's kind of like test game? Well, they, it Punch? was a um, in uh, Super Nintendo game. And uh, there's a raccoon bad guy. And he looks a lot like Sly Cooper. Interesting. Um, Are you here us now, Gamer Girl? Can you hear us now? No, that's gonna kill my ship! No! How many Gamer Girls are there? Is it 1,990? Nintendo 64. Did I say Super Nintendo? Nintendo 64, yeah. Yeah, there's no way it was a Super Nintendo. Those guys were still in school. <laughs> Let's go get these pirates. Go get them. Yar. All right, Jimmy, you got more folks to talk since Gamer Girl's being quiet? Skull can hang or go, whatever he wants to do. I wouldn't mind hanging if you guys don't mind. You are, like being here and talking you are welcome to be here. All right. Well, um, I'll, uh, I think Gamer Girl's trying to figure out. Well, you can keep her here, too. Here. Just throw some more people and in. I will Dun 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 Ah, forewarn and Titania. I think that's a Klingon dish. Pretty sure I've had that. <laughs> Good evening, friends. Good evening. I see your battling pirates. And winning! Look how much it's money I have. So I much. cannot see how much Oh, there we go. It's a lot. Look how, look how many times your ship sank. Uh, that's how you get the money. There's I... there's gold at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, there probably is a lot of money on the bottom of the ocean. There's an old um, Western movie about that. It is I. What is, is it? There? What is happening? Just kidding. This is Jimmy providing technical support. What? <laughs> what is that? Jimmy. Jimmy, that's messed up. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Jimmy, that's messed up. Great shot! Jimmy's providing technical support. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm gonna let this boat sink. We're gonna go see how much money we got. You wanna know what I'm going to do so badly that I know Kevin Warren not allow it? What? That 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 20-second scream again. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Jimmy's Jimmy's 20 no. seconds of glory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now slow that down by 20 times and you got it. There you go. <laughs> how about how about 21 second screams? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Feature record. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got so much money now. Look at Feature that. Feature record. I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to clip it on the Twitch channel. I think I've, I think once was enough. That that magical moment once, happened. The, and... Once probably was enough. Uh, let's see. That, that was my first time on this channel. Oh, was it really? Oh. That's funny. <laughs> I should be Please doing these slime moves. All good for 
wholesome entertainment here on this channel. That's right, we are. We're nothing if not wholesome entertainment. I, I, I really have, I still have a few screen recordings of Kevin, like, panicking after I get, like, recording the thumbs that one time. You should make it oh your ringtone. So... Uh, yeah, I have no idea how to make it a ringtone. I don't, I, have, I, I don't think you can do that phone. anymore. Like, I used to have a droid phone and you could make a whole soundboard, but... I, don't I think th you need to, I think you need to pay money to make a recording of it. Yeah. Like some... I... I used to set ringtones based off of MP3 files that I had saved on my oh, phone. On what kind of phone? But I don't you can't know. do that on an Apple phone. That's not a thing. Oh, it was it was oh, an Android. Man. It was a yeah. note. But see, <laughs> this is why Androids are the superior phone. You don't have to deal with Apple and their weird things about music. Well, you can just pirate music like I do. I don't know if Skull agrees, but living here in LA. Uh, everybody has an iPhone. Like, it is incredibly rare to find someone not on an iPhone. Yeah. All wow. my friends who used to be Android or anything else are now iPhone users. Yeah. In, in Los Angeles, in LA, it's, I, I know that's not <laughs> worldwide, but there's just something about, like, the culture here. And, and myself included, I'm a big PC guy, so I don't know why I didn't try to get an, a PC phone. It was just like, everybody's on iPhone. I need iPhone. And now I have an Apple Watch. Or... Burgers, I tell you. Power of your Everybody else has it. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> if you don't have an iPhone, what are you doing? How are you How are you sending me awesome emojis? I don't understand. Apple secretly owns in and out <laughs> well, now we have Chick Fil A too. So. <laughs> it's the music that they're playing. It's the subliminal messaging music in the background. Just says like, "Buy Apple phones." Buy Apple phones. Oh my gosh! You've uncovered the truth. <laughs> we also have like Apple stores. Apple stores every 15 miles around here. So. Oh, wow. like Starbucks. Yeah, it's. <laughs> There's like one big Apple store here that I know of. Hello, who is joining? Gamer girl. Say Gamer girl, 1990. You can do it. Just say hi. I I'd be She's curious to know guy. if uh, Gamer Girl, if you were born in 1990, or uh, if you just if you graduated high school in 1990, uh, or if that is your high score. Um, like, <laughs> <laughs> there's like more, there's more machines. Yeah. Take that. Right, but I got uh, 1990 on one of the uh, Bentley's hat cards. Oh, zooks. Oh, there are. Please, Jimmy, me, give me a challenge. <laughs> um. Super, uh, Choi, I, uh, Choi, uh, 235, I like that. That you steal. It's called stealing if you steal from people that steal. That's good. I think that's accurate. Kevin, I think question. Is it called stealing if you steal from people that steal? Oh, I like, well, I think it is a statement as well. It is called stealing oh, if you okay. steal from people who steal. Because stealing is stealing. Kids don't steal. Okay. Well, because I'm a grammar freak, and it says "is it called?" So that's why I'm a grammar freak. Got it. Well, there should also be a question mark there to signal the end. That's uh, true. That's that's <laughs> but I do think it's Are we called talking stealing. about grammar. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Let's just talk about all kinds of grammar rules, guys. Let's talk about. <laughs> how English is the weirdest language ever created. I, I came across an article recently that blew my mind that the heading mm -hmm. was, here are 25 words that also mean their opposites. Uh, oh yeah. It was like a magic trick the way they did it. So one example would be the word oversight. You, oversight. you could have, uh, you could be responsible for being over something. They could also mean yeah. that you were unresponsible by not doing the thing, it was an oversight that we missed. Uh, stuff like that. Like, go. You can go somewhere and move towards it, but you can also n end going somewhere by dying. Say, the car would go until it 
until it couldn't Die. go. Until it go. Until right. it went, essentially. Whatever the. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the oh, wow. verb tense of that is. Um, I mean, it was like. Well, that's how you use it as well. So that's why. Well, that's it. That's, that's the point. I like, that. you can fight with someone, which can mean you uh, you argue with them, or you can fight with someone, which is to mean fight alongside them, so they can be on your team yeah. or against you. It's the same term. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, talk about Hamilton for a second. They used that double meaning in the word in the. I don't remember that part of Hamilton. We <laughs> used it in the beginning when the two actors who play Lafayette and her two kids that also play Thomas Jefferson and James Madison. They say I fought with him. Just like the Lafayette and Hercules Mulligan fought with him in the war. But James Madison and uh, Thomas Jefferson fought with him on like the Congress floor, yeah, like they argued a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I gotta see that music. Uh, it's on Disney Plus. Yeah, but you know, I can't open up Disney Plus without playing Jungle Cruise. I'm like, oh, no matter what, I go, uh, uh, I'm watching Jungle Cruise. Again. It's so good. Uh, the play button again. Oh, what is it? Is this Hamilton? No. <laughs> oh, dear lord. That's not true. It's actually, um, uh, uh, Gravity Falls. No matter what I try to boot up, it always ends oh, up being Gravity, Gravity Falls. Falls. Is so good, though. Like, what have I done? More Gravity Falls. Why? Look at all these emojis. Living it up in Gamerland, guys. Nice work. Spy Cooper, Pikachu. Yeah, I'll throw some Cupheads in there too. Ooh, good. <laughs> Rip Chumley, the turtle that escorted you to Miss Ruby. Good, that's a nice deep cut. <laughs> I'll have my servant Chumley for you. It's so great because, like, we definitely needed to know that thing's name. <laughs> <laughs> it was really Why important. Chumley had a Y at the end to win at that. No, oh, I didn't get it. I don't recall. Because yeah, grammar. Let me see. Let me see. Like, you need to get that health. I tried. I tried. And it was like, no, no health for you. Oh, now I got three of these guys. Oh, and they're all white. Never mind. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? They're just a bunch of white pirates. Did I hear that correctly? They're unimportant. White sail pirates. What? I don't hear it. I don't. I don't understand. Yay! Good job, Bentley. <laughs> Nailed it. What did you do? Uh. So apparently, Discord disconnects. Her whenever somebody moves through her channel. So, oh, interesting. like, every time I move through a channel, it's do another channel. That's why I'm doing it. That's fun. Well, Gamer Girl 1990, welcome. We've been waiting for you for about 31 years. So. <laughs> 31 years. Why 31 specifically? Because uh, it would be 1990. 31 equals 2021. <laughs> good at grammar, not so good at math. <laughs> no, I hate it. I will never want to use it ever again. Somebody was. I was at work right now. We were like, while we were talking about it. They're like, it's simple math. And I looked at them and I said, I'm an English major. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't uh, even do basic subtraction earlier today. Too many numbers. I feel embarrassed. Are okay, you, uh... Mr. Kevin Miller, the mathematician, why don't you hit us with some numbers? Four. Um, do you enjoy the Prairie Home Companion as an English major? I know he's, uh... No? No? That... I don't know, I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Uh, well, it was a radio series that was on for many decades, and they had a regular skit... Skitch? Skit? Uh, about being an English major. <laughs> um, but the... I believe my last known file is that the guy who led it uh, got a hippo with the Me Too movement, which is unfortunate. Uh, 
for, I think, uh, excessive hugging. Uh, nothing, nothing as egregious as others. So. Uh, um, okay, well, yeah, that can be a little. It was a little sketchy. I should go and research that. But yeah. as it, if you were an, if you are identify as an English major, uh, there are several Prairie Home Companions for for decades that talk specifically about the usefulness of an English major. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. <laughs> so speaking of research. Search Titania, I beat you. What? Is my surface name is Ruby, it has a wild name. Oh. 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 Why so, does it? You should yell at, yeah, Flores from here. No, Super Choi. Although, Super Choi. I, I think, I, I think, I think it's around Super Choi. Yeah. Because I, because my brother, I don't know if I need to shoot me, so I was I thought about it after I said it. I was like, hey, you know what that looks like? Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. Chewy. That sucks. Kevin, I did have a question. Go for it. Uh, I don't know if, if any of us have ever asked before or anything. It, when you were auditioning for Sly Cooper, were there any other characters you were auditioning for? Oh, yeah. I read for all of them. Uh, for oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read for Sly, Bentley. Um, I may not have read for Murray because he's a big guy and I probably didn't do a big guy voice. But yeah, I read for all of them. I, well, let's hear your Bentley voice. Well, I mean, again, it would be an audition, so it's not my, it's not my interpret, it's not my impression of Bentley. It would have been yeah. like how I would have played how the character. You did it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I actually, when when reading it, I was like, oh, I bet I could, like, that's a good character for me. Bentley is, is far more. I'm a nerd, right? And I yeah. I work behind the scenes and I do that kind of stuff. So like, I could be that guy. I could be the techno guru. Uh, so yeah, I probably... If, if Kevin just does his best Bentley boys, like in his own way, and then the next thing you know, Matt also just pops up into the stream. <laughs> <laughs> what Matt Olson it... does for Bentley has so many uh, layers to it. Somebody posted on Twitter that video of him doing it on camera in some... Uh, some old archival footage uh, for like a sketch show or something, and uh, and I forgot just how many different things he does tonally with his voice, going up and down and slowing his his words and speeding them up, and then using the top of end of his register and the bottom. Like there's a lot, wow. there's a lot to Bentley. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's like I don't know how <laughs> how he got it, and it doesn't yeah. surprise me because Matt. Uh, was not in uh, the Bay Area. All the other characters were cast out of uh, the Bay Area, uh, which is where the studio was, but Matt had done scratch audio for for the game because he was buddies with the developers. So they're like, hey, just come over and read these lines. And much like C-3PO in Star Wars, they, they just couldn't shake it. There was nothing that we could do. We also never heard Matt's version right. of it. Uh, that ever came close to the to the textured and variedness that that Matt brought to it. So they're like, great, we'll just fly Matt down. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right, he's our Bentley. And then we would do the reverse of that a few years later. Uh, he stayed up there, and I they flew me up. So it seemed it seemed oh. they're like whatever it takes. Okay. But you want to hear my Bentley? I, I'm not. Yeah. I was giving you background. That wasn't. I wasn't dodging yeah. the question. Let me. Uh, <laughs> let me kill this this pirate and okay. let me think of a line like. Ah, oh, I didn't kill the pirate. What's a good line? A good Bentley line. Um, Enough with the sauce. Yeah, something something more talky. Um, like a no sly. This is. Wait, wait. I am the wizard. No, I am the wizard. You are oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So my my Bentley would have been something like, "No, Sly, I am I am saying you are the lizard," and I no, that doesn't sound right. That sounds too much like the real Bentley. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was too good. But I would have I would have. When you've heard it for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I would have gone up into my nose like this for sure, and I would have offered a bunch of uh, techno numbers and tried to make him speak really quickly. In, in rapid succession. That would have been kind of how I would move it. Uh, 
Why did that sound like a, another character? Like, it, like, it, it has a rabbit-like quality as I just riff with it there. There's a, uh, some sort of techno rabbit or a techno rat. Um, rat. I wonder. If, I I doubt it, uh, but somewhere that recording exists of my audition for it. I wonder if I can dig it up. So. Uh, oh, the your audition for Sly. And the addition for Sly is is what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, I don't think so because he he didn't really audition for anything. He, uh, they were just like, hey, yeah, do you want to do it? Do you want to keep doing it? Together. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Especially for Sly Two, we were all together. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Yeah. We're all there. At the same time, but you know, Murray speaks a fraction of what Sly speaks, and Sly speaks a fraction of what Bentley speaks. He's all over the place. Um, so, so it's accurate to the source material. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's talking, and then you and Chris are just kind of right. standing by. That's right. That's right. Clockwork plushie? I would be into that. that oh my disturbing. god. I'm a sucker for plushies, though. So. I'm still trying to get the Funko Pop. Okay, give me a break. If there's a plushie, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have oh, a Clockwork Funko Pop? That would be really cool. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm still trying to get the Sly Cooper Funko Pop. Every time we talk about Funko Pops, it makes me want to eat something. Like, does is it chocolate? It's just a tasty sounding. Yeah. That sounds really fun. Oh, they are fighting each other. Look at him go. Wow. And then, and then one, and then you think, how did you react when they told you you were playing Sly? Oh, I was stoked, as you can imagine. So, um, main character. Was it like a freak out? Uh, well, it was. You know, it, these things they, because I worked at the studio. So it was. I was part of the conversation. Whereas most of the time, for casting something like at that level, they just make the choices and then they contact you and go, "Hey, do you, can you do it?" Uh, but I was part of the conversation. So they had, and I've told this story before. I know that Sucker Punch had a uh, a group of people liked one guy, and uh, the other half of the team hated that guy, and liked some other guy, and the first half hated that guy. Uh, but everybody's second choice was me. <laughs> oh, second choice? Oh my God. So I was I was the compromise between between the two. Yeah. Oh my God, that is. Yeah, well, that is wrong. Wrong. First is the worst. Second is the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. Uh, my sister kept telling me third what is the one with the polka dot dress. Third is the one with yeah, the with the bully Maguire dance. <laughs> oh no! Not again! I do not need to relive that that stuff. I rewatched that movie for the first time since it came out. Years, the other what day. movie is that? Spider-Man Three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I love the, the trailer. Oh my gosh. That's really nuts. Kevin, you don't, you, you aren't I heard Willem Dafoe. Yeah, don't. No, no, stop saying words! Stop saying words! <laughs> no, no spoiling. Jimmy will boot you out of the Discord. The next one to do it intentionally. Sly Cooper cameo. I will say, they do give away a lot of the plot in that trailer. Yeah, that's why I don't watch them, right? Yeah, you, you get a feeling of exactly how the first act of the movie is going to play out. Now. Right. Yeah. I do agree. It was pretty obvious. Like, okay, is this it, is what's gonna happen, and this is what's gonna happen, yeah. and then still hype though. Is it a is yeah, it a true like trailer, or is it like a, a leak of a trailer? Is it the final cut of a trailer? So I think what happened final is trailer. the trailer leaked earlier that like, like yesterday morning, and then Sony released the full thing last night. Oh, gotcha, as a result gotcha. of that, they're like, fine, here you go. Why is Sony so leaky? They leak everything. <laughs> like they, they like all those them. Sly Cooper 5 totally real rumors <laughs> that are totally real. <laughs> totally real. Well, I know they got hacked. Like, I don't know if I believe them. But they leaked. Oh. I thought like Spider-Man 2 stuff leaked as well. 
it came out oh, in theaters. Oh, 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 Back in the day or, or Homecoming or whatever it was, uh, uh, Far From Home. Far From Home, I think. Got it, that one, yeah. Because you can't say Spider-Man 2. It's literally three different movies. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking oh that. I was like, which Spider-Man 2? <laughs> Soon 4 with Spider-Verse 2 coming out. Oh, oh my man. brain hurts. <laughs> and Spider-Man 2, the video game, coming to PlayStation. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, so, so speaking of superheroes for one moment, I brought this to Scott. Uh, yes, as at the moment, but I this last week. I think I found on Amazon where people out there sold out. I found some Sly Cooper t-shirts. He told me that Sly was in the disguise of Batman. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's fun. It was They're very know. similar. Sly and Batman. Kevin, you your best Batman voice. I'm Batman. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> get rid of Robert Pattinson. <laughs> get the Kevin Miller on board. <laughs> the only difference is the last one. The last one. Conrad. Got it, got uh, it. I see what you did there. Yes, that's what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about how oh, it's Batman or Sly. Get your back straight. Hey, live your life. To be fair, Sly did have a Batman costume in Sly Boy. Did he? What? He was one what? of the unlockables. Or it, it, it was like his unlockable uh, costume is a reference to Batman. Doesn't count. It is? One unlockable costume in Sly 4 is a reference to Batman. What? Like one of the time traveling costumes or like an actual unlockable? No, like the unlockable with the Sly mask. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, and I think Murray has one for black tights and all that. Got it. Yeah, same with Carmelita. I think she has like a Catwoman outfit. That's not Catwoman. That is no part of Catwoman. I thought it was Catwoman. I'd like to see the Murray dressed up as Catwoman. I think that'd be good. Nah, he could splinter cell. <laughs> Oh man, that was pretty good. That was pretty Great. solid. So, how uh, how much longer are you planning to stream? Not terribly longer, so we can shuffle along. What are we at here? An hour and We're seven? Yeah. Take it out. Oh, oh my god. god. Give me one second. Let me hold this voice chit chat. I hope it's a it's a triple decker Scooby Doo thing. Sly Cooper for the says, Hey Kevin, which version of Sly Cooper do you like? Sly with a leg pouch or Sly with a back Oh, leg pouch for sure, right? I mean, how cool. It's a garter belt that's cool. <laughs> that's true. Wait, 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 wait. Although it does make it the paraglider a little less practical. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it. Hold on. Oh, my leg. It's stuck on my leg. He <laughs> flies upside down. How'd you enlarge? Selena Gomez or Halle Berry? Uh, what? Selena Gomez. I'll go with that. Wait, 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 wait. Selena I Gomez is Catwoman? Yeah, when was Selena Gomez? I know, Catwoman? I know Anne Hathaway. I think you mean Selena Kyle. Selena Gomez Catwoman. She's not Catwoman. Haley Berry's Catwoman. Name is Patience Phillips. I was obsessed with that movie. Really? I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I was. I don't remember how old I was when it came out. I was maybe eight. I was obsessed with it. I have no idea why, but I I loved that movie. Batman has that effect. I, I Batman uh, Forever was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Val Kilmer. I just adored yeah. that movie. Um, yeah. It's a ton of fun. It's a great film. I mean, it's got. Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, it's got it's a fun film. And then I recently saw. I think HBO has a documentary with Val Kimmler and something happened to that guy. He's got a vocal talking tube and everything. Oh yeah, I think he had throat cancer. Did he? Poor dude. Oh my god. And he's still like, I try to live my life to the fullest, and I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Was that you, uh, Gamer Girl 1990? Yeah. What's up? You know the actor in the Sly series that passed away? Uh, are you referring to Kevin Blackton? Great shot! Yeah, did you get to see him one last time before he passed? 
No, I hadn't. I haven't seen Kevin in years before that. I, he was uh, up in the Bay Area, and I moved down to LA. But he was—he was a great guy. Whoa, that! Whoa, did you see that seagull? <laughs> there was like a giant seagull that came at me right there. <laughs> that scared me. I'm like, what's? Something's coming for me. I think you have one of the eggs from Canada. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a Twitch glitch. Yeah, that was pretty great. <laughs> okay, so Kevin, whenever you have time, let me do All right. Okay, uh -huh. well, give it a look. Do whatever you want, Kevin. Don't listen to him. Yeah, I said whatever you have time. Whenever. I you will. As soon as I uh, defeat these seagulls. <laughs> That's the name of the ship, it's not the birds. Well, these are black sail guys, so we gotta. It's gonna be a little tough. We want it. We want it. Are those. Yeah. They've got the cost of those. Next thing you know, you see a ghost ship. Oh no! Not my ship! No! Stop blowing holes in my ship! Another, uh, another tip? Yeah. Most damage if you foul of the enemy. Ah, how do you aim, though? I just sort of make sure I'm. You have to. Yeah, I have to, like. Aim it precisely. Like, like little. What aiming, though? There's no aiming. It's just. Yeah, well, I it's mean, like, the way you position your... It's, it's, like, perpendicular. Yeah, if, if you were to shoot it while it was retreating from you, then all the cannonballs would, like, angle in onto the back. But if you broadside it, all the cannonballs would just go straight. Oh, yeah, it's just, I see. It's just hard to do. With them turning all the time, so, yeah. Fly Cooper 4652 asks, who would win in a fight, Panda King or Mugshot? Oh god. Ooh, I like that question. Let's see. Um Blame Foo versus God. Guns. <laughs> Big guns. <laughs> Speedy <laughs> Wagon <laughs> Wheels, welcome to Gamerland. Uh my money is gonna be on um the panda. Oh, I wow. feel like he would outsmart Mugshot. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining the Indiana Jones scene right now. Yeah, you think? Yeah. <laughs> With those characters. <laughs> like, here, here's a good place to use a gun. Panda King versus Poe. Oh, I'll go with Poe because I'm buddies with Mick Miller, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it feel like that's the bias stance. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sounds good. All right, let's check out your thing in the chat, and then we can do a last cycle of of guests in the Gamerland yeah. lounge. Yeah. Oh, there's Lanels. Yes. Okay. I was about to ask Skull Kid where Lanels is because he was here before us. That's true. No, he's there. He's back. Yeah, I see him. Dimitri or the Grizz, who was just a knockoff Dimitri. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, is that Red Wing? Is Sly as a Red Wing? In the voice chat there for one? Oh, 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 oh. oh, no, no. I was, because in my, in my sense, because you guys were talking about Batman and all that, I literally found a picture of that. that. It looked like I, Sly Cooper posing as Batman in a sense. I think he's supposed that's to be Red Wing, right? Red Wing. Uh, this Red might be Wing. a Batman costume from the comics, like Ultimate mm, Batman or something. Got it, got it, got it. No, 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 no. No, it's the, it's the, it's Sly's Ultimate costume from Sly before. Or I, I need to pose as Batman. I think that's what it is. Now, the more you know. All right, Jimmy, begin the cycle. Oh God, we're getting cold. Getting cold. Put them, put them on ice. I don't well, feel so good. Considering what Titania's profile thing is, I will leave you. Are you talking about my OC who happens to be named Snow? Yes. <laughs> who I made when I was like 14? That was Aww. like 10 years ago. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> awesome. If, if you guys do bring Thor in it, and you mentioned Doctor Who, he'll, he'll literally encroach me so much. Mm. Good to know. I have you lots have to been. talk about about Doctor Who. So. Forewarned. How about a sing-off between Tavio and Tavio? I, I would love to say that. I would. 
kill. Oh, uh, Dimitri that. all the way, though. Dimitri would have that. For sure. I, think I, might, I think I might give it to Oct Octavio on that one. He is the, like, classically trained opera singer. They I both have know. lasers for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try yeah. the lasers in. Oh, wait. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh -huh. one more question. Oh, go, go more. I'm sorry, but I did. Okay, so... Well, it's a little bit of a two-part question in Kevin. So, who, who's, who do you prefer at, as the voice of Carmelita? And would you do a duet with them? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty great. And no, I wouldn't do a duet. <laughs> not <laughs> only because... Uh, I'm not a karaoke person, so I don't know if... Uh... <laughs> Kevin's like... That's no Yeah, that's uh, a. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna get jingles in the shanties. Yeah, that's right. I'll make up a shanty with uh, the with Carmelitas. All four of them. Well, alright, y'all. This has been Thanos saying. Oh! Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanos saying. Oh, wow. Thanos saying. Oh, wow. saying. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good, Iron Man. <laughs> Epic Melon! Lanel! Lauren! Well, howdy, y'all! Hi! How are your Tuesdays? We're taking on 1220. 1220, alright. You are on the East Coast, I take it then. Uh, Central Mountain. At 1220? Yeah. Oh, math is... Oh, it's 1020. Got it. 1020 yeah, I'm Pacific. From, uh, so. I'm from New Orleans. Oh, very cool. What's life like in New Orleans these days? Hot. Yeah? <laughs> hot. So hot. So hot. Oh, yeah, it's you wouldn't believe it. Uh, and I don't 90. want to. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh... You might. Don't you live in California? Yeah, but we don't do heat like New Orleans does heat. I, I did, um, I've been to, I stayed in New Orleans one memorable time for New Year's uh, Eve. Uh, and y'all know how to party. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, I definitely felt that's not my scene, but I was like, I'm glad I did it, because I'm like, Sweet that's shot. an experience. Uh, I've done that in a Vegas uh, poolside bachelor party. And, uh, and and that was also an experience. So it's, you need to have little things like that just to be like, yep, that's what's out there. <laughs> uh, I live here. I'm I'm not like a crazy party person. I don't imagine you would be, right? Like that's a it's a it's an attraction. Like if you live in Vegas, you also don't go for poolside bachelor parties. You you know you live a life. You live in the desert and you eat eggs and. <laughs> well, you know, are very calm here. You know, it's Sure. It's kind of one of those things where it's just not something I'm particularly interested in. Right. What do you do instead? Um, just play games, you know, just have fun the way I like having fun. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I moved to Hollywood and uh, I was here for about six months. And, you know, young guy in my 20s at the time. And I had a friend like, hey, it's Friday night. What are you doing tonight in Hollywood? I was like, I don't know. Playing, playing video games? <laughs> and he's like, you you live in Hollywood. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> uh, and I literally lived right off the board. Just to walk down and it would be like 12 bars that I could go and hang out with. And like, that sounds about as much fun as waiting at the D&D. &D. Uh, right. <laughs> you live just... in the West Coast capital of partying. That's, that's right. crazy. This game's going crazy. Right? I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'm actually... <laughs> I've got a really, really good friend who lives like he used to live uh, in my state, but he lives like right beside Vegas now. Yeah, but he just never really interacts with that side of it, just because he, he, you know, he doesn't really have interest in it. I think it's interesting. Yeah, it's like we all have different uh, energy levels and interests, and it's like right. But it did make me think, like, am I living in the wrong place? Like, maybe. <laughs> And then it, eventually I finally moved out of Hollywood and over here to North Hollywood, which was much more suburban and a slower pace of things. Not terribly slower, it's still L.A. But I realized that when I lived in Hollywood, there was traffic walking to the store at the end of my block 
because I was at oh it God. was in the center of tourist haven. So I'm like, I, what am I? What am I paying for here? Access to Hollywood right. Boulevard? Like I can't even go to the store without like walking through mobs of Swedish people taking pictures of the sidewalk. Uh, <laughs> that's that's not me being glib. That's a reality. <laughs> oh wait, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, because of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So there's just tourists from all over the world taking pictures of the ground, which is rad. But like when you're yeah. just trying to get some, uh, you know, some uh, Tylenol and some cucumbers from the Smart Final, <laughs> you're like, get out of my way, buddy. <laughs> By the way, I, you guys, this is way off topic, but I was like talking about it over, uh, on my desk. This like Sly Cooper Funko Pop that just dropped. Yeah. This, dude, it is so nice. Did you know about it before release? No, I found out at the same time as everyone else. Uh, really? For sure, yeah. Which was. Uh, which was great. I, I have, I, you know, thanks for reminding me. I really need to get on the giveaway to get those out of here. I have five of them sitting in my desk oh. back here. And uh, we need to do a giveaway to get signed ones in the hands of, the hands of you, the fans. Right. No, I remember, because, like, I'm always waiting for a new piece of slime merch to drop. So, like, the day that they announced it, it was, like, an instant pre-order. Oh, good. That's great. Well, then I went over to the GameStop here in Burbank. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it'll be out on this day. And we talked about maybe me coming in and doing signings. And the day came and went, and they never called. And I was like, do, do you have the Funkos? And they're like, oh, no, they haven't even been shipped yet. I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow. I, mean, I, I know I got mine late. I remember. So maybe it's the same thing. Well, a bunch of them uh, came out later than expected because apparently it was a backlog. Like it was a back order because of how many people made it. They're like, oh, wait a minute. Okay. That's cool. This is an actual thing people want. Plus, also, all supply lines are broken because of COVID, so. Uh, I had a question from last time that I was going to ask, yeah. but I never got around to doing it. Yeah, um, go for it. So, Sly 3, the voice of Dr. N. Uh, that sounds right, yeah. Uh, he was also the voice of the soldier in King Fisher 2. Okay. Uh, and he passed away last year, and I was wondering what your experience was with him was if you did. I, I, you know, I don't remember uh, interacting with him much. And I'm trying to pull his face up in my mind. Because for those, for slide two and three, excuse me, we recorded them at a studio in Seattle, at a studio called Bad Animals. And so they flew me up there and I lived in Seattle for the week at a hotel. Uh, but he was a local talent, um, I believe, or lived in the Se in the Washington area and they, and he popped in for those. Um, so, but I don't remember there being much, uh, I remember interacting with Arpeggio in Sly 2, uh, and being in sessions with him, but I can't remember being in the same room as the same time as Dr. M. That's just not coming to me. Um, was he also the voice of Lefui? Who, who was that? Um, I believe that was someone else. Uh, Cause that guy, I remember, we had a few sessions together, and I remember he did not. David approve. Scully. No, that's not right. Cause David Scully is Dimitri. Wait. Um, D yeah, David Scully was not Lefui. You can hear it. That guy, Lefui is way too old. David Scully can't do that. According to this, voiced by David Scully and a guy named Casper Philipson for Denmark. For some reason, that's marked there. Yeah. Where are you reading that? Um, uh, Wiki. Yeah, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, let me I'll rephrase. It's not accurate. <laughs> the the guy that was a voice for Lefui was a very old dude, um, and he was not impressed with my pirate accent. He was like, uh... and really? I wouldn't be surprised show, if it. I can show you an image of him if you like. It, I feel like it was the same guy that did Doctor M, but I, I maybe I'm mistaken. Um, I mean, now we're talking. This is what 16 years ago. Right. Um, he looks like every senator ever. <laughs> that is, that is perfect. <laughs> right, there you go. I, I, I sent you the image. Uh, let me see. I'll pull it up over here. <laughs> it looks like every senator ever. Where'd you Wait, stick what? it? Over here. Got it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where's the blockbuster machine? He does look like every senator ever. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no, that doesn't ring any bells at this point. So. I'm not. Uh, I also meant to ask, I think I was in the hall like six months ago or something, but I just kind of like blanked. Uh, I meant to ask you, like, not when it comes to work experience, but like playthrough experience. Yeah. Which 
which of the four games do you find yourself going back to the most? Oh, slide two for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same there, yeah. yeah that's, that's the game that's like, it's just so deep. It has so much, I forget like, oh yeah, there are two India levels. Jeez, this game is right. huge. Yeah. Uh, I'm also like, continuously entranced by uh, just Dimitri as a whole. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I just love that character. The personality, and it, it's so perfect. It's so over the top, obviously, but his introduction is so... It's That's great. I was just telling uh, you know, some friends, they were like, oh, you're the voice of Sly, and I was like, yeah, and they are like, oh, I've been meaning to play that game. I was like, start with Sly 2 at this point, unless yeah. you're like, I gotta do it. And they're like, well, just just get into Sly 2. I'm over the top. You wanna be under the floor, boys? Crack a box. <laughs> All right. I'd have to say four is my favorite, but there's just something so like nostalgic. I didn't even grow up playing two, but I get nostalgic playing it somehow. Yeah, because it's a little time capsule. It's like a little piece of. It's like watching old TV. You know, you could, I would put on uh, I Love Lucy as a kid. You know, it's from the '50s, and I'm like, oh, the '50s. Oh, I was like, Thirty years before I was born. <laughs> Every meet and three in town that has a uh, that has a TV with Andy Griffith. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Always on. Yeah. Hey, remember when shows used to be much darker? Shows? Yeah, like what? Give an example. <laughs> yeah. I love that show. <laughs> 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 Uh, I mean, like, the only ones I have in my head were all, like, Japanese shows that in French, like, kind of like a French uh, dub. Yeah. Like, in France, because a lot of them were dark. The actual name of it. I just remember in French, like, it's called, uh, Les Jeunes Filles, which just mean, like, great, like, the young Remy. Like, oh, that's cool. And the whole story about it is how... He got sold for $40 by his dad, and then he was like, he gets adopted by like a million family. And it, it, it's so sad because everyone just dies like all him. He has like two dogs, there's like a, a and like the only guy that brings him, they're all like playing like the tunes and stuff. And you just all die in the like, really sad ways. It's, it's crazy to hear the song. It's, it's so sad that you're. It's just him saying, I'm ready and I, I have no family, something like that. Hey, you know what? You did it. We You you gave an example of a darker cartoon. Well done. A little better than the Steven Universe. All right, see you, Thorn. Yeah, what's up? Okay, uh, I know the uh, live from there is on. Uh, what are we talking about? We're about to find out. I'm sorry, it's it's a running gag between me and Thorn, where I always interrupt him, but I'm gonna let him go. Okay, okay. I don't consider that a gag, but okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the thing that they, like, you produce an Echo Knight game? So, say say uh, again, I produce an Echo Knight game? Yeah. I, I don't know what that sentence means, but go go on. <laughs> I was well, maybe you can get the entire thing, so. Kaboom! I was gonna ask you what's it like producing a game. <laughs> maybe I uh, maybe I'm just slow in the moment or jog my memory. What is Echo Knight? Um, uh, it was like a horror game that was on the PlayStation 2. Oh, okay, and we and we did uh, sound design for it at Webtone at the at the sound studio in Los Gatos. Is that what you're referring to? I think so. Uh, who's the who's the uh, developer on that? Uh, well, I got. Okay, while well, he's seeing, he's speedy wagging wheel. I don't know if you read this in heaven. <laughs> 
he's yes! asking, is there a mission in the Sly series that your absolute favorite to play? He says thanks, and then sending love from Australia. Oh, thanks from Australia. A mission oh. that I like. Um, you know, I, I don't know if this counts, but this first thing I thought of, of I really like the beginning of uh, Sly 2 when you break into the museum and you have to figure out how to get on top of that dinosaur. And I think it's largely because there's a giant skeleton dinosaur that you get to walk on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I love the short Just Yeah, exactly. I like the idea of Sly stealing a giant dinosaur. I wish that was the mission. Oh. Well, at this point, it would be considered a reference to slide four. That's to, right. To the prehistoric times. All right, so let me put this way. What, what was the name of the game? Night... Echo, Echo Night, Night Beyond. Echo. Oh, look at that. I've even Googled this game before. Why have I Googled yeah. it before? Yeah, because, we, <laughs> because someone asked you that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's now... It's the same conversation so, the last time. Yeah. Oh. Just, just double check. Did you ask for a developer <laughs> or a publisher? Uh, oh. Developer. The... Publisher. That would be from, from software. Soft. Oh, it's Age Tech. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so yeah. So Age Tech. It was a small. I don't. Are they still around? Do do do. <laughs> there doesn't look like they are. So Age Tech was a small studio that did a lot of uh, ports of game, and they did uh, Magic Pinjel. What was the name of that game? I was in that one. Uh, Magic Pinjel. That was the game that I had to scream for 20 seconds in Magic Pinjel. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the, the Quest for Color. Uh, that was one of their titles. So they took a lo they did a lot of ports, and they also developed some other stuff. And um, I, I don't recall this um, night game offhand, because we did... Uh, what is it? Echo Night Beyond. Let's see. Yes. That was right around the Armored Core series. I do remember Armored Core. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so long ago and and we did a lot of games. Like there were a lot that would come through. And I don't I don't believe I voiced on it, right? I don't think so. So what were you curious about just what it was like to to do this game that I can't recall? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I remember correctly, I thought that you were a producer on that game, and I was asking, what's oh. like being a producer? Oh, got it, got it, got it. So I was a pre-production coordinator. <clears throat> um, okay. So I would, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> it's, a lot of, it's a lot of talking, guys. There's a lot of talking here. <laughs> um, do, you mind, do you mind if I ask a question from the Twitch chat that someone Well, let, let me finish answering this question. Um, okay, so, yeah, as a, as a pre-production coordinator, I would handle a lot of the auditions and um, sometimes recording and casting. And then I would coordinate with agents and the talent to get them in the booth. And I would handle a lot of the contracts and coordinate with the with the client themselves. Uh, so they would tell us, you know, what the budget is, what what right. days they could record, that kind of thing. So I was a, a producer on it, but the my official title was pre-production coordinator. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. <clears throat> it was great. It's a great job. I... I the, the game industry or the recording industry has changed dramatically. What Skull was saying before oh, yeah. about being a, a recording, uh, a studio person, I, I greatly enjoyed working in a sound studio, doing that front of office coordinating stuff. It's just not done like that much anymore. And there are very yeah. few studios um, that, uh, that have that kind of position around. Otherwise, I'd be like, let's go work at a studio together, Skull. Let's go do it. So... Um, I, I enjoy that work very much. My dogs are going absolutely ballistic. I really hope I'm not getting robbed right now. You should probably oh, go check on that to make sure that's not uh, the reason. <laughs> I'm in your house right now. <laughs> that's phenomenal. All right, what was your question for, Warren? Well, well, it's not my question in general. It's coming from Sly Cooper four six five two, who was very curious about it. They say, "Hey, Kevin, when they were making Sly two, did they Fuck ever have is. an arpeggio boss battle in the works, and why was it scrapped if it was?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "And why was it scrapped?" Um, I don't know. That that was never. Um, I was never a part of any of those kind of conversations. So. Uh, I think that would be cool, but I never came privy. There was never any recorded lines for it, I can say that. Um, so, 
It, was, it wasn't like something like the lost content or something. By the time stuff hits the voiceover actors, though, they pretty much made their choices. The only thing they're gonna do is undo something. They're not gonna. If you if you're paying for a voice actor, it costs a lot of money, and uh, so you want to make sure that all those assets are stuff you're gonna use. You're not gonna just throw stuff up on the wall and see what sticks. You're leaving? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, there he goes. Alright, bye! What? Okay, uh, bye. Okay, what? bye! Actually, we can <laughs> I think we can get close to calling it a night here, myself. Yeah. So, let's right, see. yeah. Wait a minute. What, what is a face rig? Because Actionette asks, have you ever considered getting a face rig with Sly as the character? I know what a it face rig is. Uh, it would be pretty like trippy. It would be trippy. That'd be cool. Please, please elaborate. What is a face rig? Uh, it would be like if you had like Sly's 3D model on screen on like the stream right now, and like uh, when you're talking, uh, he'll be like moving his lips and like oh. he'll be blinking like you, and like oh. he'll be moving your head. Yeah, the, the your your iPhone has that right now, right? Like you can do face yeah. rigs for different animals and stuff. Yeah. There was a there was an app uh, called Face Rig. Uh, where you could buy things and make little stuff and then they got purchased by somebody and disappeared. Uh, but they were literally called Face Rig and, uh, oh, wow. and they went away. Uh, oh, wow. um, just, I'm just scrolling to the chat, seeing if there were any other interesting questions that you might want to answer. I did want to tag in quickly. Go for uh, it. I'm always very curious about this and it just crazed my mind. I remember when Sly 4 got revealed, I think it was an E3 presentation. That sounds right. And like the textures, and it was very, very different, like as like a total art style package compared to what released. And I remember it was jarring in a good way. It looked a lot different. Mm. I was just curious as to like whether or not you had anything to do in that no. process. No. Or... No, that was all. That was all their their art department and their their direction through it. Um, I do remember we. Uh, I think we recorded some before prior to that E3 release when it was announced, if that sounds right. Although I feel like the our podcast would tell me if that's true or not because uh, I feel like people started to find the podcast and ask questions about it before it was an official uh, uh, thing. I can't recall. Um, but I remember one thing we discussed uh, was for E3, um, they, they had a couple of different commercial ideas. And uh, one of the ideas was for Sly to give you a one-second preview of the game uh we actually recorded that and i was like if you do this everyone's just gonna pause it and stare and analyze every detail They're like yeah we know that's what we would want <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> i don't think they went with that one so oh oh i just remembered my own question go for it do you know a voice actor named benjamin diskin uh, it doesn't ring bells immediately. Um, ah, damn it, because I would love to hear a conversation between you two. Because uh, apparently this guy, apparently like famous and all that, had from who knows how long ago, well, apparently 39, this to this day, from what I've heard. heard because he said a lot of stuff, like, 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 coding, next door, he did Stitch, Sailor Moon. Sure, he sounds like a big band. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, like all, like all over the ether of this, of this whole entire, it, it's mostly anime stuff from what I've seen, even Beastars and BNA and Negresco and all that. <laughs> and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, yes, thank you very much for that. Uh, even though I've never watched it. But I was just wondering because uh, this guy does like a few good impressions, including female, even though he's not really a professional impressionist, although I won't speak for him. For him, so I was wondering how he sounded like Hooper. Mm, yeah, that could be fun. I, I think uh, a legitimate Sly Cooper impression is a challenging one because it's me. <laughs> so unless you unless you're naturally gonna sound like me, and I've heard people uh, before and heard recording and been like, "Is that me talking?" Oh, that's that's not me. Uh, they have a similar tone. But then, so you know, unless you start sounding like me, it's probably difficult to pull that out. Like it's I'm not gonna have a voice you can do an impression of. 
Um, well, to be fair, the, the, the voice actor from the Sly Cooper movie trailer, I did mistake him for you. Oh, well. Uh, no accounting for taste, I suppose. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't uh, I, I I knew it wasn't me. So, <laughs> uh, all right, guys, let's see who we can raid tonight. Who are we gonna raid? Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Watching, playing some Sly. Uh, Speed running again. Looks like it. Let's go ahead and let's pour on some Gamerland love and check it out there. And oh, our... one, another thing. How did you start the? Okay, bye. How did, you, how did that trend start? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a long evolution from, uh, as a kid, quoting uh, Plucky Duck from um, from uh, the uh, Animani Tiny or Tunes. Tiny Toons. And she Tunes. say, oh, uh, water go down to hole, and okay, baby lady, bye-bye. And it's what my we would <laughs> oh, tell my God. mom. And then that evolved to just, okay, bye-bye, <laughs> okay, love you, bye-bye. And then by the time I met <laughs> Justin, we just started saying, okay, bye. And then eventually it became, okay, bye. So. <laughs> next, next thing you know, people are going to ask for voice requests and all that. Uh, they can, I will always give an okay, bye. Uh, all right, guys. Thank thanks for being here tonight. Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy, everybody. Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, the other mods are no help. Jimmy, uh, they're all, all the mods are equally helps. Uh, Jimmy is yeah, the most yeah, helpful. Kidding, Skull, uh, let's be praying for Skull as he's got his MRI coming next week. Uh, it'd be high five in him, oh, and we'll find out wow. how that's going. So, uh, all right, guys, have a lovely Tuesday. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye.